Oi, oi, Jazz here. How are we? How are we doing? Let's get this camera sorted out. Wow, I'm coming back to life. I am coming back to life after having the flu from the gods. Um, feeling like my old self. We got a couple of videos in, didn't we, during my um, sickness. But I'm, 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 I'm coming back now. I'm coming back. Getting a bit of life back in my face. Bit of volume in my air. Way. Um... But yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's an interesting story. I've got a video coming up. I'll do it this weekend. Um, all about the 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 illness, the uh, the the change in uh, health, um, and what I think was going on there, or what could have been going on there. But it's Bill's story. We're still on with Bill's story, aren't we? It's. Uh, page seven and i don't know about you but i'm getting pretty sick and tired of bill's shenanigans you know it's affecting his family it's affecting his well it's his wife his wife's family is his, his family in it um his, his wife's getting sick and tired of him you know she's growing weary and bill's getting sick and tired of himself but you know um we've got to hit that rock bottom haven't we as an addict we've got to hit that rock bottom and it don't matter what anybody says to us. It doesn't matter what anybody says to us. It's There's got to be that aha moment. There's got to be that moment where there's the humility. You have that humility to be open to a different way, the way of a higher power. That maybe you've got to let go and let God. Page seven. My brother-in-law is a physician and through his kindness and that of my mother, I was placed in a nationally known hospital for the mental and physical rehabilitation of alcoholics. Wow, so he's gone from, you know, within seven pages, like we've said before, he's gone from having the world at his feet, wanting to be to somebody to now is literally in a hospital that's nationally known for the rehabilitation of alcoholics. I mean, he's accepted his fate, it would seem, and those around him now have put a label on him. Under the so-called belladonna treatment, my brain cleared. Hydrotherapy and mild exercise helped much. Best of all, I met a kind of doctor who explained that though certainly selfish and foolish, I had been seriously ill, bodily and mentally. And <clears throat> yeah, I think I think things like hydrotherapy and exercise do help because you know that's the inner drugstore. You know, on I think on a scientific level. Those are things that are very practical. Those are things that definitely work because they, it's all in a drugstore anyway, right? Like the alcohol just switches different parts of the brain on and off and um, like all drugs and, uh, you know, that's what we, we can, we can get those same highs, what, whatever it is, uh, epinephrine, serotonin, uh, adrenaline, all these things we can get, we can get from exercise, we can get from situations. Um, like, for instance, performing in front of an audience, uh, or you know, which will get the adrenaline going, etc., or going for a long run, a, a walk, a lateral eye movement, all these things on a neuroscience level. I think as an addict, you've got to remember this, and Bill's getting a little taste of it now, like, oh, yeah, like these daily practices. Like, I don't know about you guys, but exercise is massive for me. Exercise is massive, and I've missed that the last three or four days. I haven't exercised because of this illness. And, it, and it's, and it's you know, you've got to push through. But I don't know what I'd do with that, without that natural high. Get your natural highs. If you're, if you're, if you're listening to this, you're an addict, right? I'm guessing, you know, why, why else? Or you're, you're, you're learning about someone who's an addict. That's a real key thing for me, is like find the natural highs, find the healthy highs. You know, look at things that are not um, ruining your life, destroying your life where you get pleasure and engage in that. So if exercise, you know, put that to 30, 30 minutes to an hour a day, do something that benefits your body, benefits your outside, benefits your inside. 
It relieved me somewhat to learn that in alcoholics, the will is amazingly weakened when it comes to combating liquor. Though it often remains strong in other respects, my incredible behavior in the face of desperate desire to stop was explained. Understanding myself now, I fared forth in high hope. For three or four months, the goose hung high. I went to town regularly and even made a little money. Surely th this was the answer, self-knowledge. <clears throat> well, there you go. I've just been put in my place got to be careful haven't we because you can get to that point where you've got all this self-knowledge and all of a sudden you get back in yourself and you think yeah i've got all the answers i know all the answers so it's this fine line you've got to have the work you've got to do the work but don't forget the faith faith without works is dead right we always remember this and it's that balance of don't be overly into God where you're just like, you know, sitting there praying all day and you're not going to do anything. You're not going to do the footwork. And don't be that don't be that person that just does everything and da, da 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 but doesn't give it over to something else and doesn't believe in something else. And they're just holding on so tight to like, you know, that they control everything. And before you know it, you're trying to, you're trying to, you're not just doing your life. You, you, you're telling, oh, and the president should do this and, and the next door neighbor should do that and da, da, da. You know what I mean? How's that working out for you? Self-knowledge, but, but it was not. For the frightful day came when I drank once more. The curve of my declining moral and bodily health fell off like a ski jump. After a time, I returned to the hospital. This was the finish, the curtain, it seemed to me. My weary and despairing wife was informed that I, it would all end with heart failure during delirium treatments, or I would develop a wet brain, perhaps within a year. She would soon have to give me over to the undertaker or the asylum. Wow, there we go, baby. I mean, moral and bodily health. Wow, that sounds like an addict to me. Moral and bodily health. You know, I've heard it said in the program before in the rooms and it's, it's, it's really well put. It started off fun and then it became fun with a few problems. Then it became fun with some serious problems and then it just became problems. And this is the story, isn't it, of most people. You know, you can look back on your addictive behavior, whatever it is, right? When it used to be innocent and it used to be okay, whatever that was, whether it was gambling, whether it was drinking, whether it was uh, your drug, e drug use, uh, whether that was, you know, like MDMA, marijuana, uh, you know, the odd little time here and there. But then it cut, there's some problems and then it becomes more problems and the fun goes and it just becomes this necessity, this need, like a, you know, like breathing like it becomes such a part of your identity to the point where we say in the rooms and, 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 and I'll say outside the rooms here now as we're speaking, it's prison insanity or death. That's where it goes. Like this is true with it, with addiction. It, it, you can even be addicted into like um, a toxic relationship and it's prison insanity or death. And when you're in this mindset, it's like a, a horse with blinkers on, right? There's no telling anybody. You can give them the cheat code. You can give them the answers. You can give yourself, you can give the answers to the whole quiz of life. It doesn't matter because they're on this like, it's like a homing missile to whatever they're thinking about, whatever their God is. They've made that thing their God. Ah, there you go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There it is, thought of the day. Making that thing gambling, alcohol, a person, so, something other than yourself, you've made it your God, gambling, you've made it your God, it's everything in your day to day, in your thoughts, da -da 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 -da. that is it, that's what you're about, that's it, and you're like a homing missile, and that's become your God, and that's filled the God-shaped hole, and how does that end? Prison, insanity, or death, and here we are, here we are, she's been told, the love of her life, Billy Boy, everybody who's tried to help him, and you've probably been here, I, I, you know, I see it in the rooms where I work, all these loved ones trying their best, everybody who cares for somebody who's just relentlessly 
made something else their God relentlessly like a homing missile on this pr prison insanity or death through this behavior, th this, this identity, what it's become. The world, the world of an addict becomes so small so small i'm just talking about myself here gosh when i was gambling man oh that was everything i used to get that paper on a morning i'd be looking for ap mccoy i'd be thinking about the dogs the combinations the ways i could beat the system like bill with the stock market do you know what i mean like the fine details the way the addicts minds works and then with the drinking it was like how i was gonna do it etc then with the women how i was gonna approach them how i was gonna it just becomes all encompassing and that became my god and i'm looking at this i want to give you this one today if you're here god bless you because this is for the hardcore this stuff right here baby <laughs> this stuff right here <laughs> This is for the hard cause. This is for the hard cause. There'll be other videos on here that are for the, you know, the fair weather uh, 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 sinners to winners, but the hard cause are right here on this video. Um, if you're here, if you're here right now, oh man. If you're here right now, if you are here right now, God bless you. I think you're gonna be okay. If you are here 11 minutes and 20 seconds into this video, I, I think you're gonna be okay. Um, Cause you get what it's about. You get what it's about. And here's what you gotta do. All you gotta do, and it says in the big book, say this prayer, thy will, not my will. Stay out of the way of the master plan. There's nobody like you on this planet. There's nobody like you. There never was. You are unique. So stop trying to find this way that's that's gonna fit you, that somebody else did, or that something else looks good, or da 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 da, whatever that is. Like a higher power. There's something out there. It's got a perfect plan for you. Give it over. Let go. Let God. That's the message for today. We don't want to end up in an asylum. We don't want to end up in a bloody morgue. Do we like this? We're all going. We're all going out. We are all going. But we don't want to end up. You know, we want to go. We want to go in a good way, right? This is not a good way. I remember watching westerns when I was a kid, like Native Americans. That's what they wanted, right? They wanted a good death. Warriors always wanted a good death. Vikings always wanted a good death. One day I'll be a Viking. It's growing, baby. One day. Um, but um, this is not a good death. This is not a good way to go out. This is not going to be... If this is how Bill's going, this is not going to be a happy funeral, is it? You know? I don't know that there are happy funerals, but, you know, the Irish, we have a wake. We celebrate somebody's life. Okay? That's a great way to go. You celebrate the life. It's a celebration. Like when they do, a, instead of a minute silence, you have a minute's applause. You celebrate that life. And um, I don't know about you, but I want my life to be celebrated. I don't want it going out into like a, a dank submission. As um, I've heard it said, I forget the poet who said that, you know, but um Hey, if you want to know what happens, tune into the next video, page eight. <laughs> I know I do. And I've read this book a few times, but like I said, it's a magic eye picture. So there you go. There you go. Okay. Vacom Deus.